Hey guys, still a little sick before it. Uh, before it. Momo here. <laughs> Just went back to my roots for a second there. Sorry about that. So, <clears throat> right. Um, chapter 5. <laughs> so, in the last episode, we finished up chapter 4. We found Jessica and our dad. And now we're going to look for our dad again. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so, yeah, let's jump right into it. Chapter 5, the second another. Okie doke, we find ourselves in another corridor. <clears throat> Where's that? Good question. Uh, let's... Okay, so there's two doors. Let's uh, take this one first. Lawrence's room. Dad? He's not here, is he? Nope. But this is a big room. Okay, let's uh let's let's explore. Let's explore it. Okay, so there's a picture up here. There's a portrait over the fireplace. Picture. Okay, let's check it out. To the right of the old man, there is a man in a black jumper. How about him? Do you know him? Ha. Huh. Daniel, did you see that? That's the man in the black jumper. Who is he? He's my uncle Henry. So this is Henry. Yes, I'm ab absolutely certain it's him. In the center of the portrait, an old man is sitting, holding a cane. I wonder who he is. Ho! Oh. Goodbye, my beloved birds. That's my great-grandfather. To the left of the old man, there is a man in a white jumper. Who's that? Ho! Oh. Daniel, wait here. What's wrong, D? That man... Here... He's... My father. This is your dad? Yes, I'm certain. Ashley, I remember now. Father brought me into this room. My great-grandfather was sleeping quietly in his bed. But when we walked up to him, he slowly opened his eyes and looked at us. He smiled at us, but it was a sad smile. Father held his hand tight and started to cry. That was the first time I had ever seen him cry. Oh, D. Hmm. There's a small card between the books. <laughs> Lucky. <laughs> okay, let's check it out uh, when we get out of this section. Let's check out the sofa. Another sofa. Table. Fireplace hasn't been used. Okay, mm. let's check out the the dust card. Uh, and it must be 906. Card number 906. Richard's memo. When I think about my relatives, ah, when I think about my relationship or lack thereof with Ashley, I often think about my late father. My father and mother both, di both died in a plane crash while visiting South America. I was only 18 at the time. He was a very busy trade merchant and he could never spare much time for his family. Back then I couldn't understand him, but now I feel like he is the only person who would have understand uh, who would understand me. 
perspectives. Okay, let's see over here. On the table, there's a round tin tool. What do you think this is? A lamp? No, it's a zoetrope. A zoetrope? Yes. What is what is it? You've never seen one of these before? No. Spin the outside of the zoetrope. Then look inside through the slits. Okay, then what? You'll see something interesting. Hmm. Spin, 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 spin around. Nothing's happening though. Ashley, did you see anything? I spun it, but I couldn't see anything. Oh? Are you sure something's supposed to happen when I spin it? You should. Why can't you see anything? Oh, of course. What is it? There's no paper inside. Paper? Yes, you need to put special paper in it to make it work. What kind of paper? It should be in a roll, so that's why you couldn't see anything. Huh. I know where it is. I know where it is. <laughs> I wanna... Oh. I apparently go back in here. I wanna go all the way back to find it. Because I know it's in the art room. I remember clearly. Uh, hopefully it's not too far. <laughs> mm, I'm gonna go here. And the art room is... Oh, that was not the art room. Uh, this? Yes, there it is. I remember clearly there was some roll of paper in here. Yes, there it is. There's a roll of paper in the chest. This must be the paper for the story troop. Mm. Yush! Got it? Mm. Back on track. Uh, through here. Luckily, this game doesn't take very much, very long to uh, backtrack in. <laughs> I like this music though; it's very intense. Okay, let's uh, try out the Zoe troop. Oh, right. Psst. Now we use the Zoe troop paper. <laughs> I'll use this Zoe troop paper. Now I'll be able to see something in the sewer troop. It's a little movie. How quaint. Okay, so the bird is important. I remember this part. Um First it goes there, there, and there. Okay. Have to me remember those three parts. Okay, so it goes in like a tri triangle. Did you see something? Yes! It was a bird flying through the branches of a tree. Huh? It's really good. The solid trope was invented in the 1830s but didn't really become popular until around the 1860s it was the first real animation wow you know a lot about them the creation of the zoetrope led to a lot of further inventions which ultimately led to the start of modern cinema i 
see. I've always liked films, but I had never heard about the history. Do you like films? Yes, I did. I wanted to be a film director when I grew up. That was a long time ago. Oh dear. Poor child. <laughs> I feel really bad for him. There's a big desk. On the drawer uh, on the drawer of the desk there is a motif of a golden bird. The drawer is locked. So we need a key. Draw is empty. Draw is uh, draw is empty and the drawer is locked. Right. Okay. So we have to find a key. There's a door here. <laughs> uh, let's see if we can like. It's a tree with many branches. This looks familiar. Mm. It does indeed. Okay, let's... Oh! I hear something. Yes, me too. Where is it coming from? Here, perhaps? It's a tree with many branches. This looks like the tree I saw inside the soul trap. Let me think. What path did the bird take? It was like here, here, and here. No? Here? Oops. <laughs> here? 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 Oh, maybe we have to here, 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 here. No? Hmm. It's the white flowers that are the points. Huh. I don't get it. <laughs> Um, maybe I just have to do it and then back off? No? Okay, I have to look at the soul trap again. <laughs> I was so sure! <laughs> God damn it. Okay, let's try this one more time. Maybe I missed something. Ah, get there, it's spin faster. Oh, okay, so there, 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 there. Okay, okay. I thought it was only three points. Okay, let's try this one more time. Okay, so it's here, 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 here. There we go. Ah, it's a secret door. Good work. But what about this door? Then? <laughs> now I'm really curious. There's a painting on the wall. Oh, it's just a painting. Okay, right, 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 right. Okay, but we're not really done exploring here. There's another another painting. There's a painting on the wall. Mm. There is a nightstand. There's something in the drawer. It's a letter. It's an envelope. The envelope envelope is sealed with wax. Let's break the seal. There's a letter in the envelope. Last will and testament. 
After my death, I will I bequeath all my assets to Henry Edward. Lawrence Edward. This is Lawrence's will. Here, uh, there's his signature. My great grandfather's will. Looks like it. It says that Henry was to get everything when Lawrence, Lawrence died. Hmm. Suspicious. Mm. Very suspicious. Mm. There's nothing else? Let's check the bed. There's a design on the bed. Right. <laughs> okay, let's go through the door. We check the, the envelope thingy. So... Ah. Someone's lying on the floor. Who is he? I don't recognize him. Maybe he's... Bill? I bet he is. But why is he down on the floor? Like this. I don't know. Should we wake him up? Be careful. Okay. Poke. 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 Gasp. Ellipses. More ellipses. All the ellipses. Ellipse. <laughs> ellipses question mark? Are you? Is it really you? Ashley. Um. Wait. <laughs> God damn it. Okay. <clears throat> Hey! Uh, what is it? Who are you? Huh? Who are you? Answer me! What's your name? I'm Ashley. Ashley. So, you're Ashley. Yes, I'm Ashley. Ashley Mizuki Robbins. Ashley. Oh, Ashley, you've grown up so much. Let me take a look at you. Don't come any closer. What? You hurt me. Stay away. You must be angry with me for leaving you all alone for so long. What are you talking about? You are angry, aren't you? Of course I am. Don't lie to me. I'm not lying to you. Don't pretend to be my dad. What? I already know the truth. You're Bill, aren't you? What? Why? Why did you treat Jessica like that? No. That's not true. I'm not Bill. Stop lying to me. You hurt Jessica. You're trying to steal another. Don't dare lie to me again. You think I'm Bill? How can you think that? I don't understand. Stop playing dumb. Why did you hurt this Jessica? Ashley. Why do you think I'm Bill? Because you're the only man in this house besides my dad. Only man besides your dad? What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Did something happen to Jessica? Where is she? Like you don't know. What? Where you left her? Jessica is my uh, is very important to me. She's always been there for me. She looked after and protected me. She's not my mom or my dad. But she's important as uh, she's as important as them to me. Ashley, listen to me. 
I didn't even really want to come to the stupid island. But Jessica convinced me. She wasn't supposed to get hurt. But then she disappeared and... She disappeared? You attacked her and put her in the storage room. Don't die to me. What are you talking about? So you're saying... You already met your father? Yes, I did. But where? In the lounge. What? What's going on here? What? What a strange man. Oh no, I don't believe it. I never thought. But maybe I... What are you mumbling about? Yes. Yes, that must be it. What's, what is it? Ashley. When you met dad in the lounge, what did he say? It's none of your business. What we talked about? What happened to the Das? Why why do you want to know about the Das? Do you still have it? Yes. But I'm not I'm not going to give it to you. So you do have it with you. That's good. Ashley, do not give the dust to anyone. Ashley, what? Please listen caref uh, Please listen carefully. What? I'm not Bill. Then who are you? I'm Richard Robbins. What? You are Richard Robbins? Yes, I'm your father. I don't believe you. Can't you tell? Tell what? Can't you tell just by looking at me? I don't know. Ashley, please look at me. Oh. When I look into his eyes, I remember. <coughs> Sorry. I've met met him before. Sayoko, it's all my fault. That's right. The night mom was murdered. He was cr crouching over her, covered in blood. Ashley. What's wrong? The night mom was killed. You were there. Her blood was on you. Ashley. No. Stay away from me. Ashley. What did you do to mom? Did you kill her? Are you out of your mind? I... Uh. See, you can't answer. Why can't you answer me? If you're truly my dad, answer me. Ashley! Answer me now! Ashley! I... Ashley! Open your eyes. Where did he go? He just left. Ashley, I've seen him before. He came to the cemetery, but he couldn't see me either. It's an old typewriter. There's a letter inserted. The letter, the letter says, Dear Franny, I sit here alone typing a letter you may never read. After much deliberation, I have decided to follow after Thomas. Before that, I wanted to tell you the truth, only to you, Franny. I wanted you to know what your father was thinking. I wanted to tell you all this in person, but that's no longer possible. Franny, your mother believes that I killed Thomas, so I could become the sole heir 
to my grandfather's assets. But it's not true. It's absolutely not true. As you recall, when my grandfather fell into a critical condition, Thomas returned to the mansion with his son Daniel. A few days after that, our grandfather passed away. And then something terrible happened that night. Oh, <laughs> no, I skipped something. Thomas something. <laughs> the silver bird room and said, you must be happy now. Our grandfather invited you and your family to live here after the war. He worked tirelessly, spending a fortune getting you back on your feet. And you lived up to his hopes. You even became left-handed. So you could paint again. Your new work is the best of your life. So you must be satisfied by now. You're back on your feet. It's my turn now. Then Thomas pulled out an envelope from his pocket. He looked right at me and said, Henry, this is our grandfather's will. It says who will inherit his estate. There's only one name. Tomorrow, you will open this envelope in front of everyone. I'm sure you don't want to have an ugly quarrel over an inheritance. You're a very kind person. And I know you love your dear brother. When I heard that, I finally realized what he really wanted. He wanted to inherit everything our grandfather left. He wanted it all for himself. Franny, even then, Thomas, the father of your friend Daniel, really had no idea. Our grandfather didn't have anything left to pass to anyone. I told him this, but he didn't believe me. He became wildly, wildly upset. Then he pointed a gun at me. He had taken it from the golden bird room. I couldn't believe my own brother could do something like this. And then, Franny, something unthinkable happened. I did something that can never be fixed. Daniel saw it all happen. And I don't know why things fell apart like that. I don't... Uh, I think about it all the time. But I still don't know why it happened. Franny, please forgive me for not being able to make you happy. Henry. This is Henry's last letter. Last letter? Yes, it says that he will follow after Thomas. I think Henry killed himself after writing this letter. Ashley, I think the boy he mentions in the letter is me. So your real name is Daniel. D, what did you see in the silver bird room? I don't remember. What happened to you, to you after your father died? I don't know. I can't remember anything. D, please try and remember, if you can remember that. I think that everything else will become clear to you. I'm trying. I can't remember anything. D. Suitcases. Oh, that was a mouthful. <laughs> okay, so I think I'm going to end it for this episode. Uh, if you liked it, be sure to give it a like down below. Uh, be sure to subscribe to the channel to see uh, more. Because we're nearing the end very quickly now. Um, I think we only have one or two episodes left from here. So, yeah, be sure to check in with the next one. Because uh, this is getting intense. <laughs> So many mysteries are unraveling right now. So, I've been Momo, and until next time, stay healthy. <laughs>